Cooking with gas. That's gas. Today. Voice. Oh, hi there, viewers, and welcome to Cooking with Gaz. I'm your host, Gaz, and today we'll be doing a very special treat. We've got a bit of rice here, with which we'll be making rice-based trifle. This will be very interesting. Come with me. The first thing we'll be doing today is to make a rice pudding. Now, for this, the basic ingredients are sugar, rice and milk. All we'll be doing now is just mixing them all together, putting the milk in and I'll take you through it step by step. Let's go. Okay so the basic idea of rice pudding is just that you put all the ingredients in and bake to finish. Now some people might tell you that maybe you've got to do the proportions one part sugar to maybe three four parts rice but to be honest the proportions aren't really important. Go with your gut feeling. So basically we're almost, almost finished here. Rice pudding actually originates from Victorian times where people would try and use up all their rice in a sweet fashion and um, everyone would have a jolly old laugh really. So we'll just uh, mix this round and then it'll be straight in the oven. So we're just putting this in the oven here. The oven, by the way, should be set to 300 degrees, which is otherwise gas mark 8. Now this will be 10-15 minutes. The time really isn't important, just uh, as you see it cooking, just take it out. So uh, meanwhile we'll enjoy a nice glass of mulled wine. And so here we have our uh, completed pudding. Doesn't it look fantastic? So let's just put this on the hob there so that it doesn't burn anything. And we'll be up to our next stage of cooking. Let's go. Okay, so we've got our rice pudding base right here. So with this, we will just spoon into... And this will be the basement of our, um, our trifle. So we'll just smooth that down there, oopsie daisy, just got a tiny bit on there, that's all good. Now trifle is all in the presentation, not that it doesn't taste good of course, but um, the layers need to be absolutely uh, good. So let's just smooth this down with a bit of spatula, get that on the go, and on top of this I was thinking maybe a layer of jam. Now the jam... You can use any preserve, really. We've got Dutch Your Originals Organic Strawberry Jam Preserve. Um, let's just spoon it on, really. Let's grab us a uh, spoon. And in it goes. Now, if you can again use the spatula to smooth that out, so I'm just going to put a dollop on. Just playing it by ear, really, how much we're going to put on, and then we'll smooth that over, that'll add a nice sweet touch. And then on top of this, we'll put some peach slices. So there we go, let's just smooth that out. Looking very nice. And um, we've just got your regular tin peaches here. It's Del Monte. Um, very good make. And uh, so we'll just strain off some of this juice, because, um... No, no, looking at this. Yes! Looking! Alright. Okay, do it again. <laughs> Go. So that's enough peaches by the looks of things. So basically here we're just going to top it off with some cream. And um, people say that you want to use a hand whisk 
to get some proper good frothy cream, but I say shucks to that. We're going to use a hardcore man whisk. So let's just get this in the sink. And so there's your whisk cream and... Now I suggest just grabbing your uh, spatula. You can just spatula it right on. That's some good cream. It's nice and thick. Now we're going to have to uh, squidge this around. Now if you're worried about the calorie content, then by all means you can use some low-fat jam or, or even low-fat cream. But um, <laughs> if you want the best result, then full fat is the only way to go. Let's just scrape out the last remaining bits. Try and dollop them up. So we're just going to uh, get rid of that and we've got some coconut shards here um, on the side. Now this is almost finished as it is, you could leave it if you don't have the coconut, but I find that a sprinkling of coconut can add quite a nice touch. So we'll just get some of that out. Just uh, require some dislodging, it hasn't been used for a while. And, uh, you might want to just check the dates on these before you use them, because they can. <laughs> so there you go. And as I said earlier, presentation is at a maximum. So, as we're finished here, let's just waste not, want not. And uh, there we go. It's all wrong. So, there is your rice-based truffle. Isn't it amazing what we can do with rice sometimes? People say a bit risky doing some of these things, but I say taste the results and you'll be, you'll be loving it. For the ultimate end to a perfect day, I'm going to taste the results and I assure you I won't be displeased. Let's have a go. Mmm, that is spectacular. Mm. And because we did it straight away, the rice pudding is of course still warm. So it's more of a uh, mixed with the cold trifle. So from me, Gaz, and uh, Ali behind the camera there, we're wishing you a very good evening. And enjoy, please do, try our rice truffle surprise. <laughs> Cooking with gas. That's gas.